Hi there, mom and dad. Does your baby have yellow greasy scales on the scalp and you're worried what it might be? Well, it might be cradle cap or we call it seborrheic dermatitis. In today's Ask Me Anything episode, join in as I answer your top 10 most common questions on cradle cap. But before anything else, I'm Dr. Christine Albaquiat. I'm a board-certified pediatrician, and my mission is to empower you moms and dads so you can raise happy and healthy kids. Yay! Now let's get started. Number one, what is cradle cap? Well, cradle cap or seborrheic dermatitis is a common skin condition in babies. It appears as yellow greasy scales on baby's head. It might also spread to baby's face on the eyebrows and behind the ears as well. It appears in baby's first few weeks of life and some it disappears by 6 months to 12 months of age. All right, number two, what causes cradle cap? Well, the cause is unknown. Uh, potential cause can be from baby's overreactive sebaceous glands, um, possibly due to mom's hormones still being in baby's system after birth. Definitely, it is not due to poor hygiene and it is not due to allergies. It is thought to be related to overreactive sebaceous glands. All right, number three, how is cradle cap diagnosed? Doctors diagnose cradle cap based on its appearance. So by your doctor doing a complete physical examination, especially checking on your baby's skin and asking about your baby's history. Sometimes uh, cradle cap is mostly found in the scalp, but sometimes it can also be found on the face, behind the ears, and even in diaper area. These are easy for pediatricians to recognize and diagnose. Number four question, is cradle cap harmful or painful? Well, the good news is cradle cap is not harmful. It is also not painful. It does not cause discomfort on your baby. More often than not, it is a cosmetic concern for parents. Number five, how can I treat K cradle cap at home? Yes, this is a good question. You can do some home remedies for your baby's cradle cap. I would recommend use a gentle shampoo and shampoos baby's hair and gently massage the scales and then after bath you can gently brush it off if this does not work you can also try putting mineral oil or petroleum jelly on baby scalp especially the areas that are affected by the cradle cap to loosen up the scales and then give baby a shampoo and after the bath gently brush off the scales all right number six when should I see a pediatrician about cradle cap? You should bring your baby to the doctor, to your pediatrician, if the home remedies that we have discussed has not worked. If, your ba if the cradle cap has spread to other parts of the body, and if they appear red and inflamed, it might be something else or baby needs additional medication prescribed by the doctor. The doctor might recommend a medicated shampoo, a topical antifungal, or topical steroids. So let your pediatrician examine your baby first to see what medication is needed. Number seven, can cradle cap spread to other parts of the body? Yes, while it commonly affects the scalp, cradle cap can spread to the face, behind the ears, on baby's skin folds as well. Number eight, are there preventive measures for cradle cap? Unfortunately, there's nothing specific that we do, that we can do to prevent cradle cap, since the exact cause is not fully understood. But it is helpful if you regularly wash and regularly shampoo your baby using a gentle shampoo, 
and massaging baby's scalp to minimize the buildup of these scales. Number nine, is cradle cap related to other conditions like eczema or psoriasis? Well, cradle cap or seborrheic dermatitis is different from eczema. It is also different from psoriasis. Eczema typically appears as itchy, red, and dry patches, while psoriasis typically causes thick, scaly plaques. Your doctor can help you delineate which one your baby has. And, uh, or you can visit your pediatrician or a pediatric dermatologist. Number 10, can older children or adults get cradle cap? While cradle cap is commonly seen in babies, uh, it can also affect uh, older kids and adults. It tends to affect areas rich in oil, oil glands or sebaceous glands, such as in the scalp, in the face, and in the upper chest as well. Hey, if you like this video, watch my next video where I teach you about other child health problems.